Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Kerry Sullivan Theatre and our production of Oh, What a Lovely War. Please could you ensure all mobile communication devices are switched off and you refrain from using any flash photography or filming equipment. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the performance. Summer 1914. Scorching bent holiday forecast. Gunboat Smith fells Carpenter in six rounds. Opera blossoms under Thomas Beecham. Let's have the Russian anthem, please. 
Bone says to you, she might not even do. There's one Mr. Mac is for you. In comes Clyde and Willis help Austria. In comes Russia to help Serbia. And in comes France because they hated Germany since 1871. Because they hated Germany since 1871. Okay, thank you very much, sir. Um, would you mind signing this, please? This one's been coming for a long time. I'm glad you think so. Step out on the pavement. I'm a member of the Austro-Hungarian Secret Police. And I'm a member of the Serbian Secret Police. Aha, uh -huh. we liquidated you yesterday. I arrest you for high treason. <coughs> What's up, her? Good idea. I arrest you too. But I never said anything. You said the flight could poop all over the Kaiser. Come on. Left, right, left, right. This means war. Special, I should have kept one, Serbia. Extra, rush me in life here, rush me in life here.
way.
Kill days. Now about some letters and all. Put that in. How about some of the Christmas parcels? Put that in. What's up with you? Got company? Yeah. Last time I went down to that deal house in station, they only shoved a hot iron over my trousers. Came up with more than I went in with. Thank you. 
1950. Happy year that will bring victory and peace. Germans use poison gas. British lose 59,275 men. May 9th, Oberg's Ridge. British lose 11,619 men in 15 hours. Last of BEF. Gain, nil. September 25th, lose. British lost 8,236 men in three hours. German lost. Nil. Well, I wish you'd tell my government that, but they won't. No, why? <laughs> you told me 
my wife, she bought her eyes out to rolling bandages for the boys. I had to buy her spectacles. She never had bad eyesight before. And 50,000 marks I gave to the widows and orphans fund. Why did they want to shoot you? Mm, it's my Belarusian munition factory. Oh, so how's it going? 24 hour shifts of rolling out bombs and shells. Oh, do time. You see, I'm a patriot, but I'm also a businessman. My stockholders must have their dividends. If I didn't make profit, the Russians would.
and I guess the boss is pretty nasty. Damn wind changing. Indeed, sir. But these mishaps do happen in war, and gas can be a warning weapon. So as long as we keep smiling, you won't know. Sexual time, now, Lieutenant? Well, we buried most of the second yachts in Lansdowne. There's a few DLIs, and the men from our own company left. Good. Let the men drum up some charms. <laughs> Indeed, sir. Hey, God, what's that? It's a jerry, sir. It's a what? It's a leg, sir. Well, get rid of it, man. You can't have a barrier sticking out of the parapet like that. Hard castle, remove the offending limb. Now, we can't do that, sir. It's holding up the parapet. We just consolidated his position. We'll get to shovel and hack it off, and then dismiss the men. Right, sir. All right, lads, go get yourself some chalk. What a bloody hell moment to do with this, man. See blood? Head, trunks all over the place, and all he's worrying about is his damn leg. <laughs> <laughs> 1916, rebellion in Ireland.
I will trust him an inch. I don't. I will tell you in confidence, my dear. His Majesty very much hopes that my husband will succeed in French. My God. Yes, my yes. The Douglas speaks French is quite ambitious for the high position he was at. Who was Sir John Little's lady friend? Ranked outsider. Really, sir? The flawless character, you know, his weakness for fair set, loses all sense of decency. Good God, sir. Yes, well, he has borrowed two thousand pounds from it or shot over a woman. Damn bad show, sir, borrowing from a subordinate. And who's commander of my cavalry brigade at the time? Hey! Sir John! See you snuggle up soon just now in the middle of the room? I did, Sir John. That's the way to treat him. Friends in sunshine and shadow. The fat new photographer. The right man for the right job, if I may say, sir. You may, you may. Thank you, my man. So how do you leave the men at the front? Oh, in fine, I'll sir, just spoil him for a fight. Makes one feel very proud. When you fight here, Douglas. <coughs> what do you think of that man Kitchener? Well, sir. The man's intolerable. It's complete generalism. He's only a damn politician. Well, with regards to that, sir. You no, know, he turned up in Paris in his uniform again. Oh my god, no. He's got no right to a uniform. Secretary of, Secretary of State for War. What happened there? Well, he raised some pretty tricky points of protocol. Well, what's he gonna do about it? Tony! That's good. Play my chain. That man Kitchener's got the correct one. B N B E L. And the new Lord War Monk. How did that man pay to get his gifts? You tell me he felt all his obligations. Duke of Cambridge, friend of the family. Oh, yes, on her side. Played the formalities and let him in. Good night, sir. That man is a terrible intriguer. Yes, I can tell by his deceitful face. And he's flabby. He's been through a lot of it. Well, don't get more of those. I don't know much of Prospects for 1968 are excellent. Commission to speak, sir. Of course. We continue the war in this way. The line of trenches will stretch from Switzerland to the sea. Neither we nor the Germans will be able to break through, and the war will end in complete stalemate. Nonsense. We need only one more big full scale offensive to break through and win. My troops are of fine quality, and specially trained for this type of war. This is not war, sir. This is slaughter. God is with us. It's the king and empire. We are sacrificing lives at a rate of five, sometimes 50,000 a day. One battle, our superior morale, bombardment. Sir, tell us what to do and we'll do it. We are going to walk through the enemy line.
the loss of, say, another 300,000 men may lead to really great results. Yes, sir. And will not impede our ability to continue our offensive. In any case, we must calculate on another great offensive next year. That's if the slack is on the home front in our way, sir. Quite. We're rather short of men, sir. What's left? Well, the new chappies from Ireland have just arrived. Ah, rather wild on train lot. Still, there would be rare to have crack at the buffet. What they lack in training, they'll make up for in gallantry. Yes, well, they've just arrived by train. But most of them haven't eaten in over 14 hours. We are moving against a weakened and demoralised enemy. Capture the German line without further delay. Peace. 
The peace movements are strong in England, France, the US, and in Germany even. In the Reichstag, the peace movements are active and outspoken. The politicians chatter like imbeciles while civilization bleeds to death. Who tells you this? The Times, the newspaper that refuses to publish the cutoff letters. Why? It distorts the truth about our so called victories. Do you want to go to war until Germany is beaten to the ground? Yeah! July 1st, Song. British lost 60,000 men on the first day. Stay in England, in merry, merry England, and, and for the 